are you doing back there? Today's the uh, 29th of September. We're in Wisconsin, about 60 miles west of Milwaukee. It's 1991, so when we watch this a million years from now, we'll know. We'd have started this earlier, but we need us have been eating black plow suckers all the way across country, and she wouldn't take time out to record anything. <laughs> we stayed in Des Moines, Iowa last night, just east of, east of Des Moines. Had a pretty good time, but about 650 miles or so yesterday. Boy, we've seen some beautiful farms. They're all over out here. These are smaller than the ones in Iowa and Illinois and Nebraska were, but still pretty nice looking farms. We'll be coming up on Lake Michigan here in a little while. We'll show you guys back there in Colorado what real lakes are like. We got islands on our lakes that are bigger than the lakes you guys got back there in Colorado. That's okay. We have deer. You guys just have Bambi. <laughs> okay. Well, shut that thing off. Milwaukee now. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're going through the city, and pretty soon we'll show you um, Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. Well, before we, before I had the camera out, there was. It really looked pretty in here. And now it just looks like we're looking at downtown kind of stuff. This is Lake Michigan! Not that, that's a farm, but out beyond you can uh, see out there a little bit of the blue horizon. That's it out there. We're going up the west coast of it. The west coast of Lake Michigan. We're still in Wisconsin. We just left um, Milwaukee and now we're headed up to Green Bay. Getting awful damn tired of driving. I wish Juanita would do it once in a while. I did. She she drove out of the parking lot to the gas station this morning. The only thing she's driving is me crazy. That's my job. Okay, we're getting we're we're still in Green Bay. We're going over the, uh, getting ready to go over the Fox River right now. This is um, Lake Michigan, way out in the distance. We've been driving up by Lake Michigan for about three hours now. This is what they call Sturgeon Bay. Michigan. I can see him flapping his lips, but I don't know what the heck he's saying. 
Michigan here. So I thought I'd have a beer and see if I wanted to buy any more old style before I left the state of Wisconsin. Well, the trees are starting to turn a little bit more in here. You can see them. They're really getting pretty. They need to turn some more, though. We need about uh, another week, I guess, looks like. About the time we head across from Canada, they should be really getting pretty. But we'll have to see. We got about another hundred miles north to go. Maybe they'll get a little, a little more color in them up that way. We're going to go along uh, Highway 35 between Benamini and Escanaba. Probably stay in Escanaba tonight. Maybe a little farther east to Escanaba. Well, here we are guys, we're in Menominee, Michigan, looking out on a bay, yes this is a bay on Lake Michigan, just a bay. at Michigan that you can't see. You can see the waves out there though. Those are those are on the horizon. That the horizon is 17 miles. That's what you can see on the Earth's curvature. So you can see it's a pretty good sized lake and this is uh, uh, zoomed in and you can tell there is some wave action out there. I don't know those might be eight or ten foot waves way out there. We're going to be driving up this tomorrow all the way up way around another 200 miles worth of driving and we'll still see be on Lake Michigan yeah what's that honey just show them a boat with, with boat there's a, there's a sailboat out there I think I already find that baby let's see where was he There's a sailboat out on the water out there. And you can see there's a light boat over here. Driftwood home with you, Juanita. Seagull. Clifford. <laughs> Stop that. Stop it. Let's go. It's cold out here. There's another sailboat out there. It's about to sail up. It is chilly. Let's go. Shut it up. Take a picture of the hotel we stayed Say goodbye, in. Clifford. Goodbye, Clifford. Go on up and I'll take you going up the mountain. To be or not to be. That's that's the motel we're staying at. 
Where are we, Cliff? Manistique. Manistique. What are we doing out there? Uh huh. I can't imagine. Yep, hands on his hips and everything. He's such a talented man. Here we are on the Great Lakes. Watch that baby. You usually don't see waves like that on a lake, huh? I guess that's why they call it a breakwater. Got in here. Oh, There's I'm Juanita and she's still driving. Me I'm, nuts. I'm just tired of driving. He makes me drive the whole way. Why do what? I've had to drive the whole way. I don't care what anybody says. He might say that he drove the whole way, but I drove the whole way. All he did was sit and read Danielle Steele books. The whole way. There we go. There's another shot of that lighthouse from this side. But he's inside the truck because it's too cold outside. It's too outside. cold outside. I ain't getting out there again. Wonder how long it's going to take that water to wear it away. Getting posed. Yes, I have an eight-foot slide-in pickup camper for sale. Okay. And my number is 616-525-8890. 525-8890. And that's the talk about. I'm still driving. Look at the couple of open there. Can you see it? Well, sort of. Okay. Next stop, past town. All right, you're in trading post. At last, pasties, what Clifford's talked about forever and ever. We had that. Ah, lunch. Paul Bunyan pasty. Well, tell him what it is. It's heaven, potatoes and chopped sirloin and onions and baked in a pie without a pan. Because, of course, they didn't know what pie pans were up here back in them days. Look at there. There's a the type of boat you want. We're off to Grandma's. Smoked fish. Right out here is the kind of boats we got on this lake. Can you see it through the haze here when we did it? We'll get closer to it. There's another one way over there that's already gone through. It's hard to see it.
Anybody's home. There's his boat. Pagan up in uh, Michigan at the tip of the lower peninsula. This is one, this is the resort my brother Dick is the uh, caretaker for. And uh, he wasn't in his house right now. We're just making a cruise through, waiting for him. Cottages. Trying to figure out where he's at. He's supposed to be down here at one of these houses. This is right on the uh, the lake here, just to the left of us is the lake. That turn around here, I guess, and head back up. Well, we made it. What? Just shut it off. It just pulled in. <laughs> I should have kept her going, son. Don't know what. Oh, what the 
Look at there. Look at what? There. Yeah. Where was it? Where was it? Don't you remember? This time up? Yeah. It's in the house here. It's right now, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today is October 4th, 1991, and we're in Sheboygan, looking at all the trees. I hope that you can see how vibrant the colors of these trees are. They're really spectacular. Just gorgeous. I hope you can really appreciate the vibrant colors, the oranges, the reds, different shades. They're just so beautiful. When the sun is shining, they're even more, more outstanding. This is the back end of the um, Church of Christ. As you can see there, there's, there's Grandma on the car. Here she comes. This is nothing like having a chauffeur-driven, a chauffeur-driven uh, tour here of the whole town of Sheboygan. She's going to give us all the ins and the outs. There she is, Grandma Kitchen. How many people live in Sheboygan now? Do you, do you kind of know? Well, in Sheboygan itself, uh, about 5,000, but in the county, um, 20,000, 25,000, something like that. And what what is the, since Proctor and Gamble closed down, what are people doing out here now? Some of them are doing individual or uh, independent construction work, others have a lot of them have moved. Some of them are just waiting, hoping that something will open up. But I doubt this winter anyway. Maybe another year something will come in. But it's a little late in the season now for something to start. Yeah. There, there's a lot of um, farms out here. Are they they're a lot of working farms or just a lot of land? Most of them are second or third generation and they're just people living on, on the homestead and the, the land lays fallow. There are a few big working farms, but uh, probably not more than really big working farms. They're probably uh, 15 or 20 at the most around now. People used to be able to make a living on a farm with a family help, but nowadays uh, all the kids want to go to the city and, and get a big job. Yeah, well that's... There's too much work to stay on the farm and work. And the money anymore is almost really not to be made. Unless you've got a big farm, you might as well not even try. Now where are we about now? Now we're going back onto the Ringsville Road. Can you see that big tree up ahead there? Oh yeah. With that farm? That used to be a nice farm here, and then it's just the son living in the house, and the rest of it is laying idle. This was another farmer here that with nothing to do. He works in town uh, as an accountant, and uh, the kids have a garden. 
these trees don't look like they've turned as much. It's a different type of trees. So there's a more pine in here, so the evergreen. And so now, tell me a little bit about the trees again. The real, real vibrant red. Our maple. Our maple. And our burgundy red, our oak. Oak. The yellow type, our birch and uh, popple. So there, there's a really variety. There's a uh, balsam and, and uh, oh, I don't know all the names now. This is a quiz. <laughs> I'll go home and get my encyclopedia. <laughs> going past Ken's place here in a minute. Oh yeah, up here on the left is is Ken's house. This little um, brown one here, right? Right. Right here, this is Ken's house. Look at the background there. Oh my goodness, look at all those trees. This is Ken's house we're passing now. Ken and Pam. And their two kids, Jennifer and Todd. Jennifer's in college now and Todd is... 10th uh, grade. 10th grade. This is Riggsville Road. Settlement started. Oh, this here, okay, Danny was saying that this is where the Tallman, Tallman, Tallman Settlement started here. So, that was my... That was, now what is Tallman, is what in French? Uh, Le Grat, um, Le Before you were so rudely interrupted by somebody who was operating the camera, was, uh, the Tallman house, and that's where Rosanna was raised. And she said we'd catch that on the way back. Now, this here is what? Why don't you? This oh, is the Richardson Road. We're going to go down. Richardson Road. This here was the little schoolhouse, right? Yep, yeah, that's where I went to school. That's where Grandma Kitchen went to school. This here is, this is Richardson Road. Richardson Road. There's a car in front of us, that's unusual. Because usually, these roads are pretty empty. Isn't this pretty? I hope you can get the full effect of this. Because we're going through what is like a tunnel of colors. It is absolutely the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight. see the, the there's not as many reds in this so that means there's not as many maples they just are around mm -hmm. this trailer and she and Bernie are and this, matter this is where they're building right next year oh right over here is where they're they're starting their house <laughs> this is all lumber that he sawed up this spring on, on Dad's sawmill. He got the logs out, bought a load of logs, and uh, sawed oh. them on the sawmill, and got stuff ready to build his house. Well, that's going to be nice. And then what will they do, rent out their... Um... They'll rent out the trailer that after they get the house. That's going to be great. The Myers Pit, I think, is coming up on this way. Myers Pit. There's a patch oh. of plant in the background there. Oh! Is this where you get all your stone and... Uh, gravel. Low gravel and sand and crushed stone. Huh. I never knew that was there. <laughs> 